What is up, nerds? This is Frazier, boy. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you a sub, welcome back. You already know how I get down, man. I kill nerds and I talk shit. And I'm back in the sub box again. Representing that motherfucking nerd life. And today, I got some rare ass advanced warfare gameplay. You're not gonna see too many videos on YouTube with people using this gun. This is the XMG, AKA the worst gun in advanced warfare. Like right now, I'm mounted down to the ground. You can't move. It's no aiming down sights. It's strictly hip fire. The reload on this gun is ass. This gun right here might just be the worst gun in Call of Duty history, hands down. I don't know what the fuck they was thinking about when they put this gun in the game, but today, I was thinking to myself, I said, it's been a minute since I told my subs a story, man. So, I think the last time I did a story, it was about middle school, so we gonna skip straight to high school this time. And let me tell you something about my high school. That bitch was dead smack in the middle of the hood right across the street from the fucking projects no lie and another thing about my high school bro you'll see it all at my high school bro i was going to school with crackheads 15 16 year old motherfuckers on that bag on that crack real talk <laughs> lean on me high school like no lie I swear to god like real shit bro but let me tell y'all about this crazy ass story with me and my homeboy bubble we was in the 12th grade and every day in the 12th grade, I never missed the day. On the lunch wave, we would leave school. I had my own car, 97 Chrome Vic, all black, black limo tents, 215 subwoofers in the back, peanut butter inside. I love that motherfucker. I miss my baby. <laughs> but let me tell you, we used to dip every lunch wave, go to the projects at the four wave, get the three for 10. That's three blunts of that mid for $10. And we'll smoke them three blunts on the lunch wave and go back to school high as fuck and hit somebody else's lunch wave and then eat with the munches. Every day that we would come back, we would run into our little homeboy in 11th grade named Jason. Jason would be like, man, why y'all ain't take me with y'all, man? I want to smoke with y'all. He'd be like, man, chill out. We would never take Jason with us. But one day, Jason caught us before we was dipping. He ran up to us. He's like, hey, bro, I got a big ass sack of this dro. Y'all might call this shit loud now, but we used to call this shit dro back in the day. He like, I got a big ass sack of that dro, and I got this new bitch that just transferred to the school, and she a bopper. A lot of y'all might not know what a bopper is, but back in the day, in high school, a bopper was a certified dick sucker. You could put dick sucker on her forehead. She was about that life. So me and Bubba looked at each other. We was like, all right, bro, come on. We're going to be waiting in the car for you. Go get the bopper. So we went in the car. We was sitting, chilling in front of the school. He went and got the bopper, came back. They was walking back, and she was just strolling, walking. She got in the car. She didn't say nothing. She was in the back seat. We pulled off. We went to the corner store. Got four cigarillos because he had a big ass sack. We went to my homeboy Jason's house because his mom be gone in the daytime. So we went to Jason's house, parked in the driveway. We was chilling, rolling up. Everybody was laughing and talking. I never forget, we were listening to that young Jeezy, Thug Motivation 101. Fired up the first blunt. The bopper and Jason was in the back seat. Me and Bubba was in the front. So when I passed the blunt to the back seat, I would just get a blunt to Jason. And Jason would give the blunt to Bubba on the passenger side. And that's how the rotation was going. And I ain't think nothing of it. So we smoked one blunt. Bubba looked in the back seat. He was like, hey, we're going to let y'all do y'all thing. We're going to step outside and smoke another blunt. And then we'll just get it going like that. And Jason was like, cool. So me and Bubba get out the car, fire up another blunt. About 15 minutes later, Jason get out the car. He was like, all right, friends, you good. I was like, all right. So I'm, 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 I'm like, man, this bitch really about that life. This is my first time with my nigga setting out a hole, so we were just like, all right. I get in the back seat. 
I noticed she got her jacket off, and I ain't even know that she had some big ass titties. So when I seen them big ass titties, I was like, hey, take your shirt off. She took that shirt off with the quickness. New titties fell out that motherfucking bra and was sitting up perky. I was ready to go. I said, oh, let's go. That bitch started unbuckling my pants, and I ain't even have to say nothing. She put that dick right in her mouth and started sucking. And bro, let me tell you something. This bitch had a motherfucking heat on mouth. It was cold as fuck outside, but when I put my dick in that bitch mouth, that bitch instantly felt like a warm ass jacuzzi just going to work. That bitch felt like a fucking blowfish with them gills on that dick. I was like, God damn. <laughs> and you know, you know you, when you with a hoe, you don't give them hoes no warning. Straight nothing, that bitch mouth instantly, like no problem, just no warning that bitch was that bitch was a proud swallower that bitch swallowed every drop <laughs> i was high as fuck too i wasn't about to tell her shit i got out the car <laughs> my nigga bubba was laughing his ass out she was like she about that life we setting this hoe out <laughs> my nigga bubba was high as shit he got in the back seat <laughs> about 10 minutes later he got out we smoked another blunt man we was so high this was our first time setting out a bitch together too. So we all get back in the car. We smoking and shit like that. We about to get ready to pull off. I look in the back seat. Jason holding this bitch hand. I ain't saying nothing. I'm like, why the fuck is he holding it? This a bopper. Why are you holding this whole hand? We smoked another blunt. So Jason was like, hey, bro. She say she want to hit the blunt. My nigga Bubba turned around. He said, man, we all just nutting in that bitch mouth and she wanna hit the blunt. He looked at her, he said, bitch, I don't know your name, but you ain't about to hit no motherfucking blunt. And if you say anything stupid, we're gonna drop your ass off in Pritchard. <laughs> Pritchard was like way on the other side of town in a hood ass neighborhood. He was like, bro, we'll drop your ass off in Pritchard and leave you there. You gonna have to walk back to school. <laughs> that bitch ain't even saying that. She like, I'm good. I don't wanna hit the blunt no more then. That nigga Jason was still holding the bitch hand. My nigga Bubba was like, and why the fuck you holding this whole hand? This is not your girlfriend. <laughs> I was dying laughing. I don't know if y'all ever been high, but when somebody say some stupid shit when you high, it just make you want to fall out laughing. This nigga was back there holding her hand and asked could she hit the blunt. Bro, I was in tears, bro. Who the fuck want to smoke behind a bitch who just sucked three niggas dick? raw that's one thing about being i was 17 then that's one thing about being young and stupid you do young stupid ass shit ain't nobody use no condom but i ain't get burnt me and bubba talked about that shit the next day he was like hey man that shit was dumb as fuck ain't nobody use no condom or name we went and got checked out and we was good man but i got a lot more stories about that dick sucker i don't even know that bitch name to this day we used to just call that bitch heat them off every time we see it we be like hey they go heat them. They go heat them. <laughs> Niggas caught on to what we was doing, but I'm going to save them stories for another time. I hope you nerds enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this story. <laughs> Shit was crazy, man. But until next time, keep it gaming. And I'm out this bitch. Deuce.